Hey there. Well, it seems that there are a number of people who have misinterpreted my last video, and so I need to make some clarifications. Okay. The cause of Black Lives Matter, I think, is well worthwhile. Police brutality needs to, needs to change. Um, police need better training. Uh, police need to stop profiling black people as if they're more, uh, as if they're going to be criminals more than other people. Okay. These things need to stop. Okay. Um, there's, there's a lot that can be said about improvements that can be made about the police. Okay. Um, I'm also not saying that being, just being anti-fascist is some sort of bad thing either. I would consider myself Antifa if it wasn't for some of the tactics that people who call themselves Antifa were doing. There's a number of things that I don't label myself as because I don't like what the perception of those thing of, of those labels are. For instance, I don't call myself an atheist, even though technically I am. You know, I'm also a pantheist, but, uh, you know, on the side of, of believing in an anthropomorphic God, I, I just, I don't believe in that. I, I, I think it's rubbish, but, uh, you know, I still don't like to label myself an atheist because there are so many loud, outspoken atheists who are pretty nasty. They're just as extreme as, as religious fundamentalists. You must believe what I believe in, or you're an idiot, or you're stupid, or, or whatnot, right? So, um, now, you know, another thing is, I, I've, I've never been a fan of extremist activism. You know, I, I've been politically active, you know, from, you know, 1990 to, to current, though it, it kind of calmed down a bit, uh, over the past 10 years, but, um, I can remember, and, and some people who've no, seen, no, who've been subscribed to me for a long time may already know about this, and so I'm repeating a story I've told a few times, but I just think it's important to say again, okay? Back in the early 90s, there was an anti-LGBT initiative that I can't remember the number for. It was similar to Oregon's Measure 9 that would make it fully legal for businesses, including hospitals, to discriminate against LGBT. It would remove any books from libraries, including in, in any schools, that portrayed gay people in any sort of positive way. It was just really foul. And the people that were promoting this initiative uh, was using the, the wording of, oh, it's religious freedom. That was the, the twist they were trying. That was the, the gist they were trying to say that it was about. It's about freedom. And uh, so they had a planning meeting over at a meeting room at the Lakewood Mall. Lake, Lakewood Mall doesn't exist anymore, but... Uh, and uh, so a few friends of mine and I decided to really, really research, you know, look into all of the wording of that initiative and go to this planning meeting. It's, I don't know whether you call that a planning meeting or just something where they're trying to sell these ideas to people, but it mainly consisted of one guy, uh, you know, standing and pacing occasionally uh, trying to say the good things about this initiative, continuing to push the religious freedom thing. And so at, at different points, you know, those friends of mine and I, who we dressed conservatively so we'd fit in, we went there, raised our hands, you know, on, on occasion and, and said, well, what about this part? And we'd, we'd name, you know, we'd say that, it, well, look what this would do. This, this would be discriminatory. 
No, it doesn't say that anywhere. And we said, well, yes, it does. It says it right here. And we'd, we'd list the exact part of the initiative that does that. Well, well, that's not what it meant. And we're like, yeah, but that's what it's going to do. That's how a court of law is going to interpret this. And, uh, you know, every, every time that happened, it happened three or four times. Every time that happened, the, the people that were attending this meeting were looking around going, oh, I didn't know that's what this was about. So by close to the end of this, this meeting, ACT UP barges into the room and goes, you should all be ashamed of yourselves. Shame, shame, shame. And they, they said the word, sh they walked slowly. Uh, all using the same pacing, and every time they took one step, they said the word shame. You know, by the time they left, the speaker was grinning from ear to ear because they knew that all this work that my friends and I had done was toast. Okay, barging into a room and telling people shame isn't going to get them to change their minds. That's, that's not a way to get people to come to your side. And, I, you know, ever since then, when I see the kind of activism where it's just like, yeah, just being seen uh, can, if, if you're doing something awful in order to be seen, that's not helpful to your cause. Just getting more people to talk about something doesn't help you. It doesn't help. It just doesn't help. You know, you're, you're doing more harm than you are good. And that's exactly what ACT UP did. They did more harm than good. You know, you've got to be smart about this stuff. And so when I see people going to extremes, doing awful things in order to try to promote their cause, I cringe. I cringe. Because there are better ways of going about it. Do we have to be creative to do that? Yes. And... You know, and let's be fair, you know, even when when people kneel at, at football games, people get all bent out of shape over it. So it is it is a hard it's it's a difficult thing. It's difficult to figure out what's going to get attention in a way that doesn't piss people off. Right. So, you know, I'm not against just merely inconveniencing people a little bit. I'm not against that sort of thing. Now, I, I, I guess I can't say that, uh, you know, I think that I think blocking freeways is a good idea because you could be blocking ambulances. You could be blocking people from saving lives, but, you know, whatever. Um, but I am certainly not for people being violent um, and destroying property and being destructive in vandalism and rioting as a means of doing this stuff. I, I don't think that's productive. Okay, I'm against causing that kind of damage, you know, because it, it doesn't really help you. It's not helping your cause, you know. It's, it's making people go against you. And that's not what you want, you know? So let me reiterate, okay? I, I think that the cause of Black Lives Matter is reasonable and just. You know, I think the cause of Antifa is reasonable and just. Unfortunately, a lot of the tactics being used are not reasonable and just. And that's what I speak against. So I thought I'd make a clarification. I hope that helps. Thanks.